Hey guys, welcome to another Tuesday bonus video. So you built yourself a Windows 98 retro gaming PC like we have here. Well, you need a monitor. Now, ideally you have a CRT monitor that will give you a beautiful image no matter what resolution you're using. Now, finding a decent CRT monitor these days, it's not that easy. Prices have definitely gone up, but reliability is another concern. I mean, they are quite old. They use analog components, so it's just a matter of time before they fail. So a lot of us in the retro PC gaming community, we use modern LCD monitors and there are many choices. The big challenge is, of course, LCD monitors have a fixed resolution so the question is how do you navigate that because most of the games run at a lower resolution and then you get issues with scaling so in this video i show you what works for me and maybe this works also for your project as for the monitor this is a 19 inch monitor with a resolution of 1280 by 1024 i really like these screens they are readily available on the used market they don't cost too much and you have a nice choice of different panels. I recommend a TN panel. They're a little bit faster so you don't get too much blurring which is important for playing games. And they're also supporting higher refresh rates like 70 or 75 hertz. We also need a video card that supports GPU display scaling. So I'm using a GeForce FX. It's an FX 5200 but you can also use a GeForce 4 Ti for example. Both of these options are quite popular in the retro PC gaming community and will give you really good frames per second in a lot of these older games. Here we are in the game Shogo, the display settings where we can configure the graphics resolution. 1280 by 1024 is supported. This is the native resolution of this monitor, but be aware this aspect ratio is not 4 by 3, it is 5 by four and in some games that can lead to a little bit of distortion so you might actually be better off playing this game at 1280 by 960. Tacky on the fringe also has a setup utility we click on video setup press ok here and these are the resolutions supported by the game we can see here the native resolution of this monitor is not supported the highest we can select is 1024 by 768. 1024 by 768 is a really good resolution. A lot of retro games support it. And to make that resolution look better on such a monitor, we can go into the video card drivers. So I'm using a GeForce FX 5200 with the 56.64 Forceware driver. And if we click here on under NView display mode and then device settings, device adjustments. Here we can configure the way lower resolutions are being scaled onto the monitor. And you want to select centered output. That's what I have already configured. And then if we lower the resolution to 1024 by 768, we will get a scaled image like this with black uh, bars all around. Now I measured the size. This is 15 inches. So you will get the same size as if using a 15 inch monitor with a native resolution of 1024 by 768 which is perfectly fine for these older games. Here we are in the game Tachyon the Fringe running at 1024 by 768 so this is what it looks like on this monitor. We're losing quite a bit of space all around the screen area. That's the big disadvantage but it does make up for it by having a native one by one pixel mapped image. Everything is nice and sharp and I think it offsets the loss of screen real estate. I mentioned that 1280 by 1024 is actually a five by four aspect ratio. You can choose 1280 by 960. This is four by three and it will end up with an image like this with just a small strip at the top and the bottom. Here we have Tomb Raider 2 running at 1280 by 960. So we're getting perfect 4 by 3 aspect ratio with razor sharp pixels, losing just a little bit of space at the top and the bottom. 
So this is just one option for you if you want to use a modern LCD monitor. There are other options, for example, many of you out there are using a old school 15 inch 1024 by 768 LCD monitor. The downside is that these panels are really quite old. They can have quite a low response time where you can see some ghosting. Using a widescreen monitor is another option. For example, a 1366 by 768 monitor, and then you can use the four by three aspect ratio scaling to get 1024 by 768. That's another option. What I found with these monitors, however, is they tend to be, yeah, quite uh, basic. They're using quite basic panels. They're usually bottom of the barrel in very cheap monitors. Whereas with the 19 inch five by four monitors, they, yeah, they give you an option with really nice panels, be it IPS even, with, uh, where you get some benefits with the colors and the viewing angles. But for purely gaming, TN panel is perfectly fine. The viewing angles is not an issue because the monitors are quite small. It's not like a big widescreen monitor where you need uh, those viewing angles. Others are using larger 20 inch 4x3 monitors with 1600 by 1200 pixels. A lot of games do support that resolution, but also a lot of games do not. And another thing you will find, that resolution can be quite demanding to drive, so you will need a higher end video card. And sometimes the user interface, the GUI, uh, can look a little bit small with the text being quite small and difficult to read. So all in all, this is another option for you out there to make retro PC gaming a little bit more accessible. Let me know, what do you use? I still have high hopes for a decent image scaler for the retro PC community. I see a lot of products for consoles, but it seems us PC gamers, we are getting a little bit neglected. So, but yeah, who knows? At some point, CRT monitors are a thing of the past and there will be no way around using LCD monitors. So yeah, eager to hear from you. What do you use? Do you have a CRT monitor or have you sourced an alternative by going LCD? Let us know down below in the comments. And that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching.